In this lecture, we are going to learn about another route constraint which is regex constraint. Regex is a short form for regular expression. Now, you might have already heard about or even worked with regular expressions. It is nothing new and it exists in almost all programming languages. Basically, a regular expression is a pattern where you can define a set of rules, a format, or pattern for a string value that is acceptable. Now here, I am not going to go deep into regular expressions that is out of the scope of this lecture, but there are plenty of resources available online which you can use to learn about regular expressions. In this lecture, we focus on learning how we can apply regular expression constraints on the route parameters. Let's understand using regex constraint on a route parameter with a couple of examples. So let's scroll down and let's create a new endpoint. So after this, I'm going to use endpoint.mapcat. And let's say we want to create a route quarterly reports. Now to get the quarterly reports, first we need to specify the year for which we want to get the quarterly reports. For that we can use a set of curly braces and there we can specify the route parameter as year. And let's use the integer constraint here. So the year should be an integer value. And then the minimum year value should be maybe 1999. And let's also use another constraint which is min length. So basically the length of the year we want it in four digits. So here let's specify four. Then we also want another route parameter which is month. And for the month, the month value should be quarterly value. So basically it should be either March, June, October or December. So only in these four months, the quarterly report will be generated. So here we want to specify which month values is acceptable for this month route parameter. For that, we can simply use regex constraint. And to do that, we can use regex function. And in there, we can specify a regular expression. So a regular expression starts with a cap sign. For that, you can press shift six. And then it ends with a dollar sign. And in between, you can write any regular expression. So to write a regular expression, here I'm using a set of parentheses. And in there, let's specify the acceptable values. So it should be either March or it should be June or it should be September or it should be December. So this is how this regular expression will look like. So the value for this month route parameter, it can be any one of these four values. It will not accept any other value. Okay. So this is the route here we have defined. Now let's go ahead and let's specify a middleware function. So first I will use this async keyword and then let's create a middleware function. For that, I'm using this lambda expression and this middleware function we are going to receive. So it should be first of all async and here we are going to receive the context object. All right. Now inside here, inside the body of this middleware function, let's return some response so for that. First, let's use this await keyword and then on this context object, we have this response object. And on that response object, we want to write some response. So for that, we can use this write async. And in there, let's say, this is the quarterly report for. And then we want to use the year value. So we will create this year variable hyphen. We also want to use the month. Okay. So the response should look something like this. And let's remove this dollar from here. It should be in the beginning of this string. Basically, it should be here. Now, let's go ahead and let's create this year variable and this month variable. And let's read the value for this year variable from this year route parameter and for this month variable from this month route parameter. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's create a variable of type integer. It is going to be year and to read the year value, we can use this route values, which is basically a dictionary and it is going to return an object. So I'll copy this line. I'll paste it here. And here the route parameter name is year. Now we know that this expression here, it is going to return an object. So we want to convert that object to integer for that. I'm going to use convert dot to int 32. Okay. In the same way, let's also go ahead and let's create the month variable. And again, let's use this expression, this route values dictionary. And here the route parameter name is month. And again, it is going to return an object. So let's go ahead and let's convert that object to string. So for that, again, I will use convert dot 
to string and we are converting this object into a string type and then we are using this year and this month variable here okay now if i hover over here it says that we are trying to convert null literal or possibly null value to non-null label type basically when we are creating this month variable using this string it is of non-nullable type right so let's make it nullable type and then this warning should be gone all right with this let's save the changes and let's run this application so here in the response we can see welcome to sp.net co app this is basically coming from the default route now here in the url let's go ahead and let's specify the route so it is quarterly report slash let's say year is 2023 slash let's say the month is march so here we need to specify the month name in three characters because if i go back there you will see that this month route parameter is going to accept these values only march so in short mar june september or december let's go back to the browser and if i go ahead and if i press enter you see we have this response this is quarterly report for 2023 march if i say september here we have this is quarterly report for 2023 september but if i specify some other month maybe november now this november will not be selected because if you see only these four values are acceptable so november here is not acceptable so in that case the default route should be called and we should see this response so if i go ahead and if i press enter you see we are getting the response from the default route okay so this is one example where we are using the regular expression using this regular expression we are specifying that for this month route parameter we are only going to accept these four values no other values will be accepted for this month route parameter let's see another example of regular expression constraint so let me go ahead and let me copy this endpoint i'll paste it here and now we want to get the monthly reports so here i'm going to call the url as monthly reports and here we don't need this year route parameter so i will remove it and here since we don't want to get only monthly reports i'll keep this month route parameter but i will remove this regular expression okay so here the user can provide the month number in the url and for that month number the monthly report will be shown to the user so here the month number should be between 1 and 12 it should not be less than 1 and it should not be greater than 12. now here we can also use built-in route constraints like min and max but here i want to show you how we can use regular expressions for the same so here in order to specify that for this month route parameter we are only going to accept a value from 1 to 12. again we will use this cap so for that you can press shift 6 and then dollar okay and in between we specify the regular expression so again i'm going to use a set of parentheses here and in there we want to specify what values we are going to accept so first of all we are going to accept a value from 1 to 9 so we can specify it like that or we are also going to accept 10 11 12 so for that i will say 1 and in the bracket i will say 0 1 2 so this means we are going to accept values from 1 to 9 and then we are also going to accept value 10 so 1 and 0 11 so 1 and 1 and 12 so 1 and 2 okay no other values will be accepted here now here i will remove this line okay and i'll call this variable as month number and here we are going to read the value of month route parameter and here let's simply say this is monthly report for month number and then let's use this month number variable okay let's run this application again here we have response from the default route in the url let's say monthly reports slash maybe 10 if i press enter here we have this response this is the monthly report for month number 10 that means month october if i say maybe 8 so this is monthly report for month number 8 and if i say maybe 
13, then 13 is not a month number. In that case, the default route response should be returned here. Okay, let's go back. And first of all, what I'm going to do is here I will change the message and here I will say the URL which you are looking for is not found. Okay, now let's see one more example. So again, I am going to copy this route. I'll paste it here. And here, let's call it maybe daily report. And here, instead of month, we are going to specify another route parameter. Let's call it date. And we want to accept date in the form of year hyphen month hyphen day. And for that, the regular expression will look something like this so this is the regular expression which will match the date in year hyphen month hyphen day format so let me copy this and let's go to visual studio and let me specify this regular expression here okay so this regular expression here it is going to give us the date in yyyy mm dd format or yyyy dot mm dot dd format or yyyy slash mm slash dd format and this expression will also match the date between 1900 01 01 to 2019 12 so basically when we are specifying 19 and 20 here that means the year value should start with 19 or 20 and after that we want to have two digits so that's why we have this slash t two times so after this 19 we can have maybe 10 so 1910 or maybe 30 so 1930 something like that so any two digit value after this 19 will be in between year 1900 to 1999 and we can also have year value from 20 and after that any two digit number so from 2001 to 2099 okay after that we are specifying which is the character we are going to use to separate year from month and day so here it can be either hyphen or slash or dot then here for the month again we are specifying some regular expression so here we are saying that the month can be from 1 to 9 and we can prefix it with 0 Okay, so from 01 to 09 or 10, 11 and 12. So it is basically like previously how we have used it. Here, we did not prefix 0 before the month number. But here, we are also prefixing 0 before the month number. So here, if we specify 0, that means we need to specify the month in two digits. For example, if we want to specify a month as January, there we will say 01. But if we don't specify it here, in that case, we can simply say 1. But here, since we are specifying 0, we need to specify the month in two digits. So 0, 1, 0, 2, or 11, or 12, like that. And then again, we are specifying the separator. So it can be either hyphen, slash, or dot. And then we are specifying the day values. So the day value can start from 0, 1 to 0, 9. And then it can also include 10. So 1, 0, 2, 19. So 1, 9. This is what it means. Okay. So from 1 to 9, 11 to 19, and then 20 to 29. So 2, 9. And then we are also including 30. So 3, 0 and 3, 1. Okay. Now this regular expression is not perfect because in case if we specify 31st Feb, in that case also this regular expression will match. But for testing and understanding purposes, let's just go with this regular expression only. So let's again run this application and in the URL, let's type the route path. So it is daily reports slash and then we need to specify the date in year, month and day format. So let's say 2023, then month let's say is 11 and day let's say 28. And we have not actually changed the response body. So here, let's say this is the daily report for, and then here, let's go ahead and let's create a variable, maybe date. And here we are going to convert it to string. 
Okay, and here the route parameter name is date. And this is dot to string. And the variable type should be string. And let's make it nullable. All right, let's use this date variable and let's pass it here. Let's run this application again. And let's specify the URL. So it is daily reports. Let's say date is 2023-11-28. You see, this is the daily report for 2023-11-28. But if I give a wrong format, for example, let's say month is 15. In that case, we have the response from the default route. The URL which you're looking for is not found. Okay. So I hope with these three examples, now it is clear how this regex route constraint works but in general as per microsoft documentation you should not use route constraint to validate the route parameter values it's better to use if statement in your code to do the route data validation if the data is invalid you can provide appropriate response to the user for example if the route parameter data is not valid you can return status code 400 which stands for bad request and this gives more information to the client about what type of value can be accepted for a given route parameter so for example in this first route here where we are generating the quarterly report instead of specifying this regex like this what we can do is let's remove this regular expression constraint from here okay and here what we can do is we can check if month equals March or month equals June or month equals September or month equals December. So if the month value is among these four values, in that case, we want to return this response. So I'll cut it from here and I'll pass it here. Otherwise, if the month value is not among those four values, in that case, we can send another response. So let me copy this line of code. Let's paste it here. And here, let's say the month value which you provided is not valid. Okay. So if we run this application again, and here, let's say quarterly report. 2023 November you see the month value November is not valid but if I specify March in that case this is the quarterly report for 2023 March all right so in this lecture and in last couple of lectures we learned about route constraints and these are built-in route constraints now in the next lecture let's see how we can create custom route constraints and how we can use it on our route parameter this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it Thank you for listening and have a great day.